come alive Can you see what God has done? Look around the renewal of marriage vows I'm taking this on behalf of the Archbishop 
Oh God, let us pray. Oh God, you have so consecrated the covenant of marriage that in it is represented the spiritual unity between Christ and his church. Send your blessings upon Genica and Ijoma who come to renew their promises to each other and grant them your grace that they may so love, honor, and cherish each other in faithfulness and patience, in wisdom and true godliness, that their lives together may be a witness to your love and forgiveness, and that their home may be a heaven of blessings and peace through Jesus Christ our Lord, who rules and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit. One God, now and forever. Amen. May we request the congregation to please um, stand. We are still on page 11. Friends in Christ, we are gathered together with our beloved Genika and Ijoma who have come today to give thanks to God for his blessings upon their marriage and to reaffirm their marriage covenant and i ask geneka do you hear in the presence of god and of this congregation renew the promises you made when you bound yourself to each other in holy matrimony i do And I ask Ijoma, do you hear in the presence of God and of this congregation, renew the promises you made when you bound yourself to Geneka in holy matrimony? I do. Let us pray. We thank you, most, most gracious, gracious God, Lord God, for consecrating our marriage in Christ's name and presence. Lead us further in companionship with each other and with you. Give us grace to live together in love and fidelity. We care for one another. Strengthen us all our days and bring us, and us to that holy table. table. We are those we love. We will feast forever in our heavenly home. Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Lord. Amen. amen. Can we say louder, amen? amen? And so they are blessed forever in Jesus' name. Amen. Immortal, invisible, Lord forever full ancient and modern 208 
breast that we stretch forth our hands towards this couple that is kneeling here pronounce God's blessings on them prophesy to their future which will by the special grace of God will be better than their past pray for their children pray for their grandchildren pray for their family pray for their ministry pray for their places of work please pray also for their in-laws for all those who are associated with them pray that God's blessings will be theirs they are counting they've counted 30 they will count 40 they will count 50 by the special grace of God and the Lord will do so while keeping them in good health summarize your prayers in Jesus mighty name we pray may God the Father who at creation ordained that man and woman become one flesh may he keep you one amen may God the Son who adored this manner of life by his first miracle in Galilee may he be present with you always Amen. may God the Holy Spirit who has given you the will to persevere in your love and in your covenant with each other may he strengthen your bound Amen. may the Holy Trinity the source of all unity May he bless you this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. S S and S six four two page thirteen of the service program.
the woman went and gave her offering. Then the turn of that woman with so many children. I mean the children. And quickly the woman saw her and said, Oh, no, chupu gosri. Then why be chupu koziko kaya? Hallelujah. Can you pick anything from this story? The other woman now on us now only can a chupu gosiria. Cause now kwa fufu. The same person, another person has kwa chupu meregin gosiria. I want you to know that God has blessed you. Hallelujah. Whichever way you see life. Our mommy Joma is celebrating that she has been married for 30 years, yet she doesn't look like somebody who has gotten married. Hallelujah. So maybe we are asking daddy to do more. Amen. I want to thank God. They prayed a prayer that attracted my attention. And from that prayer, I want to take us to these scriptures. If you look at our service book, page 12, there is prayer there, page 12. We are the husband and wife. We are to kneel down. And they say this prayer together. The last sentence in that prayer says, Strengthen us all at this and bring us to that holy table where we those we love will feast forever in our heavenly home through Jesus Christ our Lord. There is a prayer. And what this prayer is pointing at is the relationship in marriage and our salvation. The lessons we can learn from marriage and our salvation. If you are not physically married here on earth, it will not prevent you from getting to heaven. If you are married, your marriage here should be heaven on earth. And the bottom line is love. And what love simply means in my own understanding, when it comes to the issue of marriage, is give and take. When you see husband and wife who lives their life as such, give and take. Don't count evil done against you as we have it in First Corinthians chapter 13. You will discover that that marriage will be what? heaven on earth. But beyond that, brethren, I want to, us to know that God made provision for us to be with him in that feast in heaven forever as we have it in that prayer. There is a provision However, many people do not want to make use, uh, good use of that provision, the opportunity, and it can be dangerous. Let's just go to the scripture to know what we are saying. Matthew chapter 22. Matthew chapter 22. Verse 2, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them who were bidding to the wedding and they would not come. Again he sent forth other servants saying, tell them which are bidding. Behold, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fatlings are killed, and all things are ready. Come unto the marriage. But they made light of it and went their ways, one to his farm, another to his merchandise. And the remnant took his servants 
and entreated them spitefully and slew them. That when the king had thereof, he was wrought, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned, the, and burned up their city. Then said he to his servants, The wedding is ready, but they which we are bidden, we are not worthy. Go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as you shall find be to the marriage. So those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good. And the wedding was furnished with guests. When the king came in to see the guests, he saw there a man which had not on a wedding garment. And he said unto him, Friend, how did you think you could come in hither, not having a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then said the king to the servants, Bind him hand and foot, and take him away, and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth, for many are called, but few are chosen. Praise God. I'm sure we followed as I was reading. And now you can compare this passage to that prayer that our daddy and mommy said a short while ago. The kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son. Who is that king? The king is our God. The king is Jesus. Has made provision for us here on earth. Giving us opportunity to prepare to enjoy heaven. The story here says that people were invited, but they made light of it. Because so many people don't take the things we are talking about the kingdom of God, heaven, that this world is coming to an end, that Jesus is about to come to rapture his sins, that we should get ready and prepared. Many people don't want to take it serious. We play with it. So if you are in marriage life, and you make light of your marriage, you don't take it serious, you live your life anyhow in it, it can be a mess. It can be hell on earth. So whenever we are watching marriage celebration, let's just think about eternity. That's the lesson we want to bring out here. Let's think about eternity. The prayer says, strengthen us all our days. All our days, not just one day. And bring us to that holy table. Where do we have the holy table? It's not just that of the altar. The holy table in heaven. We can't enjoy marriage life, do celebrations and all what not here on earth. And we lose our soul. That's why the couple have to pray that prayer. With those we love, these wonderful children. And the other, the rest of us who are part of this program now, will feast forever. We celebrate forever in our heavenly home. This place is not our home. Here is not our home. Time is very short. That is the lesson of marriage. I was saying that over 30 years ago, I know Ijeoma. She has not changed. And of course, it appears as though it's yesterday. Just yesterday. You are born before you know it, you are old. Hallelujah. Before you know it, you are old. And before you know it, you begin to use stick. So, what is enjoyable about this life? If not to prepare for eternity, what is enjoyable about it? That we will feast forever in our heavenly home. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Now let's go to this passage again. 
people were invited, people had the opportunity of accepting Jesus, of being with Jesus, but they made light of it. Like those of us who go to church every day, who belong to ministries of one type or the other, who sleep in church, but without an encounter. Because they were not serious. Praise God. They were not prepared. This story told us that somebody among those who were gathered sneaked into the wedding ceremony. But when the chief celebrant came in, he discovered that that person was not wearing a wedding garment. That person was not prepared. That person was in the church seated with others. But what makes one to be a Christian is not in him. There is no change of life. There is no relationship with, between that person and the celebrant. We are here because we have relationship with the celebrants. They invited us. So in that wedding, this young man went into, he was not qualified to be there because he was not wearing the garment that is meant for that wedding ceremony. Look at what the master said unto him. Verse 12. And he said unto him, Friend, how did you think you could come in here not having a wedding garment? This is a big question. How do you think, you that is seated here, that you will go to heaven without making a relationship with Jesus? How do we think that we can enter the kingdom of God without getting prepared for it? Okay, poor moment. That's not possible. So if physically one cannot be qualified to enter into a wedding service, definitely it is not going to be possible for one to enter heaven without having a relationship with Jesus. The king said in verse 13 to the servants, bind him hand and foot and take him away and cast him into outer darkness. There shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Praise God. The joy and the women of the eating and drinking in celebration is good. It's very, very good. But after that, are you sure you will partake in the feasting in the heavenly home? Let this be a reminder to us as we see this couple radiating in life, smiling with the blessings of God around them, and we feel like we should be like them. That's good. Wonderful. 30 years of marriage. He was celebrating just about three weeks ago in the church where I pastor. A young man that has been married just for three, four years called it a wheat. In fact, I spent almost one month trying to convince him and the young girl not to part. As I speak now, they have parted. Less than five years. Because this give and take, which is the actual meaning of love in marriage, is not there. It's not there. There are cross to carry in marriage for it to be a successful one, for it to last. Likewise, for you to enter heaven, there are crosses to carry. bread and butter. Hallelujah. Oh, bread and butter. Oh, sister singing and jumping up. There are sacrifices to be made. If you must enter heaven. I am afraid in verse 14 as I conclude. Say for many are called. But few are chosen. Are you in that number? Or to church. Or to church. 
manam oluma do le no le karotara eje na your opportunity that is the calling but have you done those things that will qualify you to be chosen our prayer is that as you partake in this celebration you meditate and think over this heaven is the ultimate that is the reason for this prayer here there is no two ways about that that the coming of jesus christ is very much at hand let us pray just think for a short while especially for those of us who are married the renewal of the marriage vow fidelity and love some of us are not faithful to our wives some are not faithful to their husbands some are not faithful to Jesus we read the Bible and we throw the Bible away because it's not seen in our life And the concluding prayer from this couple is that God should make them to partake in the heavenly feast. Can that be your prayer now? That you should partake in the heavenly feast. Father, we would just want to thank you, want to bless your name for your word you have given to us at this moment. May this celebration of the 30th wedding anniversary of your servants, our father, Venerable Genica, and our mommy, daughter, Mrs. E. Joma, be a reminder to us that there is going to be a heavenly feast. Be a reminder to us that Jesus is coming. Be a reminder to us that ceremonies are not what should be in the church, but the life. Grant us the grace, O oh Lord, to live such a life that will qualify us to be partakers of the heavenly feast. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen.
praise the Lord. Kai kolo chine ka ako zo kuste chine ka kike. Oh, wonderful, wonderful God. Amen. Bua ai ni le ga ekele chine ke ekele to chine ke mama na ai bundi no ne ba ne ke to ke nango zia chibui mera no pochita. Bendi pani ga ne to ai na abo. I need a baguta, Dorotine, a mama. This is the newest couple. Uh, uh, yes, the newest couple. Kele, kele, ya, kele. Ah, ya, piru, nanya, kele, ya. Jesus, oh, he's you, no, kele, ya. Oh, rumu, ya, nanya, kele, ya. Chorichi, <laughs> Kaibara Okweba. Um Chineke, almost what Chineke and Gabiba and a 30th December last year, 2019. The actual day to Tuesday. So when I celebrate on Tuesday, I'm going to go. Some people say that people are going to go Christmas by now. No one going to wake in our own. And I'm doing this time around. On a very hectic. On a when Jerry was at Bishop, he was already engaged. Or see me again. He said, "Just give me your blessing." Finishes, which he gave. I'm on a name of this program. I'm going to get better. I'm saying I'm going to So now, when Jerry can get on the rahok a webia, na ni kabia. I know no one did their service. Can I cover you? In fact, me out can get away in return. And you know, no, 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 Oh, now look at here now. Let me make here now. We are going to see about now. Happy, I will let you hear again. We've done the the most important thing. Here now, today you are you have a camera. Oh, we are going to see see Jerry. Jerry has something. Jerry go that function so be be ready and mem before Riri. Riri have run on cafe. So I am making his grace. Only I am not here, but I am not with his blessing. Even when when we are standing, Jerry does good luck. Go ahead. Now, mommy, that month, mommy. The lady, the, the chair lady of the clergy association, they represent Mommy Ogbaria. So, who knows the Bia? Who do you coach you? Man, that prepo. Man, this is actually where Bia. My only brother, Ike Uzumba, my only brother. Can I have my only brother? Can I have him? He's the only brother I'm wearing. Ike, the only brother. Only, only you know who? Man, he's my only brother. So I know you know now how Jesus. Um, actually, we can because we have a joint. I don't know where we're microphone now. I'm calling the most of a chump going around now. 
Rice, the pure water. Please, you can your since you have dedicated today for us, don't rush home. That's why you microphone. Can you like you are You know, rushing it and rushing out, and don't give me any envelope until better Are you hearing me? Oh, when I be in your movie, said you Envelope has come, but not this association. Thank you very much. Praise the Lord. Uh, with permission from uh, the celebrant, please, uh, he has recognized most of the uh, people who are here, but uh, we want to recognize the presence of uh, Venerable Prince Well, the robber, and uh, Venerable ANC. Okay, Venerable Doctor, sorry, sir. Venerable Doctor, Prince Will. Iroba, and I say, No, I had Jesus. The rector, he's the new rector of Hebrew Center, Abaroto, uh, Prince Will, Iroba. No, I had Jesus. Also, I'm not an archbishop, but I'm a very venerable uh, ANC or. And I say, no, not her, Jesus. Reverend Canon Jerry Igwe, who preached on behalf of the Archbishop, you're welcome, sir. It's the vicar in charge in Paul's Chinatown, the only China in Enugu, in Africa. Reverend Canon Ndubisi Ahanono is here. Reverend Canon Samson Wokolo is here. Reverend Benjamin Chuku is here and others. Please, we are saying you are welcome in Jesus' name. And their wives also. Because I know you know. No. You can't get you. You can't get you. You can Jesus Christ. Oh, Venerable Professor. Oh, what's he going here? Venerable, you are welcome in Jesus' name. I probably know. I need to connect you. Because every house of father, I get me an euro. Now, what's that? It's because they are not heart Jesus Christ. I can't get any hope for me. Can't get any hope for me. I need to connect. Reverend Dago. Shepherd, hallelujah. I know Reverend Canon Sansi walked all the way from Oguaniri, or one name of Guago. I know Reverend Eze. Actually, goes here. I know Reverend Engineer Promi Samara. I know Reverend Friday Onyema Obodo. I know Reverend Ikechu. Who came to Obigi? Ikechu. Ikechu. Reverend Engineer Moses Nebo, Reverend Paul Edan, Uncle Brother Reverend Ema Wachuku, eh eh, oh tu akomu umu musi agbuya, oh bro bro Uncle, bro Brother Mechiya Ukochuku, haja ikba se Uncle Brother Reverend Ema Wachuku. I want to work Reverend Sunday on Uzulike. One work of Reverend Okezie Iruala. One work of Reverend Kenechibu Chineke Opu. Reverend Professor, Venerable Professor Onwa Siyube. I'm not saying no. 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 I'm not
I mean, Oro Jerry, now freshman, na Chibata, on my hand, Josie Eba. Because I know I send you to and the Wunya. Yes, Wunya Chaplain, Venerable Ndoka, Wunya Neba, and I say, No, now her Jesus. Mrs. Weke, Obiama, Obiamaka, Weke, the Wunya, our chairman, Christian Weke, I'm an Ogadia, or Neba. She was here before everybody. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay, with the cheerleader, lady, clergy association in the Udasis. Venerable Doctor. Oh no, Samuel, oh no. I am asking no, not her Jesus. And there are the new Adikin of your daughter, Adikin, missionary Adikin. They're back honey, from by God's grace from January or December. Uh, my brother, on oh, 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 that congregation, Canon, the VC, ah, no, no. Canon, Lamonia, Oko, yes, I'm a glomis. Can you have a hoge? A hoge, Roto. Oh, one disembat, I want the guy here. Manono Zioka, Darcy's. I'm not somebody needing no, now her Jesus. Name on your church in the Eba, the Holy Spirit in the Eba, the St. Luke's in the Eba, and who look and go home about who report one by one. Oh, it's a one day in the wagon. Yes, no, no, one maka, my wife told me direct. In case one maka, a better toro, my wife, my wife to one maka, one maka to uchenna, uchenna to onyinye. God bless you. Praise the Lord. To chi neke mo ye. Kereno to touch in a can capromi henile Nara on Yenil and Komogicher and Erugua Nemo for Fenronka Cosia doyan Somaki to a Jeregiozi Cosio Moginile Dikaena by an abanka bana mema Come on, soggy dry gun, Jim Nimea Cananchi Cotti Henile Chineke Cot to a brunani keggy, staying at Jesus Christ Bonya wine. Amen. Kaipere chineke na kanchebe na mara neho na ya chineke kai na ranyuno koi wa ebu chineke gozi unu chebu unu debu unu kubli he kiru ya mukwasuno kangozi ke chineke ke promi he ni le bonna no bara na monso diera ni ni le ubwa na beni le. him a and m 311 on page 14 
Lord be with you. Look at my life. Can you see what God has done? Look around. See the beauty of his work. Never